Hello, my name is David Lindo, also known as the Urban Birder, and I'm here in my home turf here in West London. And uh, I'm talking to you today about house martins, one of my favourite birds. I know I've got a few favourite birds, and house martins are actually in that top 10. Now, what I don't understand, and especially when I was a kid, I didn't understand people that used to take sticks or throw stones and destroy house martin nests on their buildings because they thought it looked ugly. But thankfully, there's a lot of people out there who know a lot better than that. We need to encourage our house martins and it's a shame that a lot of new buildings that are built in this day and age have not got the lovely eaves that house martins love. And on top of that, we need to actually try and get more mud out there for them to, uh, to build their nests. But that's another issue, perhaps. But of the 350,000 birds that have been ringed, it's fascinating to, to actually think that none have ever been found on their wintering grounds or over their wintering grounds. I think it's a, a fascinating thing, the fact that so many millions of European house martins fly every, every year down into Africa and we don't know where they actually winter. You know what, someone should invent a camera or some sort of microchip that could actually work out where these birds winter. It would be fascinating to find that out. But anyway, for me, house martins have a personal appeal because as a kid, I always likened them to flying orcas or flying killer whales because they've got that rotund shape, they're black and white, you know, they used to dart around. I know killer, shark, killer whales don't actually move that quickly, but they have that similarity. And I, I loved the fact when they came back from their wintering grounds in the spring, to see them building their nests and coming in and out of the eaves is fantastic. In a London environment, it's beautiful. But unfortunately, things have changed. I mean, around in this area, the nearest breeding colony I knew of was probably about three miles away that way. And I say was because I don't think they've bred for the last several years. We need to do something about this. The thing is, house martins are important to me and hopefully they're important to you. So if they are, please donate to the Out of Africa Appeal run by the British Trust for Ornithology today.